Hi everyone, it's Barbara Calvano and welcome to your weekly angel messages. This week's reading is for the week of July 11th through the 17th. And this week I was guided to use the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. So here we go. And as I do this week, as I'm shuffling, I pray for Archangel Michael to be present to provide the protection of the most um, intuitive reading that we can have for today. I also call in Archangel Haniel to have me connect to my utmost intuition and guidance. And I call upon the Ascended Masters, Jesus and Mary, to be with us. Okay, so this is for the beginning of the week. Here we go for, for the middle of the week. And for the end of the week. So for the beginning of the week we have the message, Have Faith. It says your prayers are manifesting, remain positive and follow your guidance. Faith is very interesting. Faith is owning that things will work out. Faith is powerful. It's a muscle. You need to practice this. And faith does replace what a lot of people do, which is worry. So living in faith, having faith, knowing that your messages, your prayers have been heard, knowing that you are surrounded by divine love, loving beings, whether you believe in God or not, a higher power, you're surrounded by a powerful protection of loving light. And having faith with this, despite what's happening around us, in our personal lives, in the public lives, in the world, it's an action. It is an effort. It is a discipline. It's very easy to go through life as a reaction. But it is something to take a moment, take a breath, and to connect to that inner knowingness that is within you. That everything is truly going to be all right. In fact, it is all right. And if we can be in the present moment of that power, we are empowered. And we have a choice to affect our immune system, how our body feels. Because when you are in peacefulness, your immune system is more healthy versus when you are in reaction. So your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Your guidance, any messages or inspirations that you've been receiving, especially if they've been repetitive, what to do, what actions to take, those are messages from the divine for you, for me. And it's up to us to walk forward with courage, step into the unknown, take a risk. That's the only way you can invoke change. There's not always going to be a guarantee, but in birthing life, to live in life in its true possibility, you have to walk into the unknown. Otherwise, we're repeating patterns from the past. We're just living in the past. So to really live a courageous life of creating, creativity, life, energy, we have to remain positive, have faith, and step forward. So for the middle of the week, we have the message, alchemy. Interesting. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Wow. So knowing that, knowing that you and I have the Midas touch, and that anything we would touch turns to gold, what would you take an action on? What would you embark on? What would you begin? Whether it is a cre creative project like writing a book, a painting, something that you want to make with your hands and your ideas, your thoughts and words, a film, or it could be making a new life, a new office, a new relationship. We have the power to create sublime bliss or we can create chaos. It's really that simple and it's that powerful. Directing your mind, body, and heart is the challenge. It's the opportunity. 
the alchemy, the magic lines up when first, I love the first card, have faith, and then go, go ahead and start taking actions on that thing that really touches your heart. And then for the end of the week, and that includes also for many people getting well, affecting their health right now, it could be problematic, but you can have alchemy brought into that also. You could have a magical experience, a transformational experience about your health. So that also was I was guided to speak to you about. And here we go. For the end of the week, we have time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So just really beautiful. Time to move on. You know, we're already feeling the energies of 2016 about how we're going to approach the next decade starting with 2017. And you can already feel it. What and how do you want to live your life? With what kind of people do you want to work with? Now, I'm not saying that we make judgment about everybody and the whole community and the worlds and everything, but we have an opportunity to create within ourselves tribes, the word tribe, people around us, the people we work with, the projects that we work on, the relationships we cultivate, that they can be the vibration of love. We can have an easy go of it. We don't have to keep working with and being with people where there's constant conflict, jealousy, um, competition, um, gossip. So, so, 2015, gone. So, if you're listening to this video and watching it, you are up to something big. You're up to creating that incredible, beautiful, vibrational experience where you are a beacon of light. So you may not have um, multi-million dollars in your bank account, but what you have, something that many people don't have, is inner peace. You have the ability to be peaceful and connected to who you are, what's in your life, and you sleep well at night. And you also walk about the earth being that beacon of light, shedding it for other people, knowing that we can have peace. And peace is a word that's thrown around a lot, but being able to be, to go to sleep and really sleep well. Being able to walk in the world and observe and be with nature, be with what's going on, and love life, no matter what's happening. Really love being in this body, being in this world right now. I'm really just guided to talk about that. So time to move on, time to move to let go of those Veils of illusion that everything sucks. The veils of illusion that there's no hope. It's all an illusion. Watch and control how much social media and how much television and news that you're connecting with because that it's time to move on to the, from the drama. It's time to move on from the lies, from that which is trying to manipulate us to make us feel less than, to make us feel that we need fear in our lives, it's time to move on from that. And so this beautiful deck, the magical mermaids and dolphins that really go deep, deep, deep into the waters, deep into our subconscious, are bringing up that which we are, what wants to surface, which is our true nature, which is pure bliss, pure diamond white light, pure love. So that is your message for the week. If you'd like some more guidance in a personal session, please contact me at my website. I wish you the most blessed week. Namaste.